Hey guys, welcome to the Ask Out of Drumming HQ show. Jaytan Ryu asks, I've been getting blisters on my fingers playing drums. Do you think it's a problem with my grip or should I just let the blisters turn into calluses? First of all, blisters are definitely not a good thing, especially if they are constant occurrence. This reminds me of myself when I was schooling and practicing the drums from six to 10 hours a day. I would get quite a lot of blisters and of course they make practicing even harder to do. My drum teacher back then would always tell me that I'm holding my six too tight, I'm holding my six too tight like every single lesson, that I thought he was just really nitpicking on me and even after one or two years, he is still telling me that I'm holding my six too tightly. I couldn't understand it, but I continued heeding his advice and tried to look at my technique. And about one to two more years of drum practice, I finally wasn't getting any blisters. So yes, you are holding your sticks too tightly. But let me elaborate a little. Some parts of your hand needs to be tight, while some parts of your hand needs to be loose. You have to decide where you want your pivot to be. For me, it's usually the first three fingers, not the first two the first three. This is my pivot and this is where I'm going to hold the stick a little tighter. Just tight enough that it does what I want it to do without me squeezing the stick. So the rest of the fingers just gently follow the stick like this. You see that? I'm not closing my entire hand like this. But on my left, my pivot is towards the back of the hand. The fleshy part here and perhaps the last two fingers. Here tight, here I want it a bit loose. I do this on my left because I play a lot of rim shots and the fleshy part creates a more suitable bass. Also, generally when you're playing faster, you should get tighter. And when you're playing slower, you have the option to loosen up. It's not possible to try and play fast and loose. It just doesn't make sense. Like imagine this. So fast. See, I'm getting a little tighter, but you can still see that there's, there's space here. There's going to be some space here. This takes many years of practice, careful analyzation of your technique, and just generally experience so that you understand better what to correct and how to correct it. Practice a lot but be very patient. Hope this helps Jay Tan Ryu. See y'all at the next question.